హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఈజ్ కన్సర్న్ వీ హ్యాడ్ అ వెరీ గుడ్ డిస్కషన్ అబౌట్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద సబ్ టాపిక్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎకనామిక్ గ్రోత్ అండ్ ఎకనామిక్ డెవలప్మెంట్ సో హియర్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఆల్ ద సబ్ టాపిక్స్ విచ్ హ్ బీన్ మెన్షన్డ్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎకనామిక్ గ్రోత్ అండ్ ఎకనామిక్ డెవలప్మెంట్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ అనలైజ్డ్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ నవ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ కెన్ గో త్రూ విత్ ద సెకండ్ చాప్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇండియన్ ఎకానమీ which is nothing but the the measures related to economic growth national income definition concepts and methods of measuring national income nominal and real national income only these are the topics which have been mentioned as part of the official syllabus of the tspsc for indian economy chapter 2 is concerned now just by going through with the only these particular topics will not give you 10 to 12 marks as part of the second chapter is concerned now if i can go through with our classroom discussion if i can uh, segregate the whole national income into sub topics then will give you the complete conceptual orientation regarding the national income now as we have already studied about the the clear cut sub topics of the economic growth and economic development i can completely say that measurement of the economic growth is nothing but the national income which means if somebody can understand the conceptual clarity about the economic growth and economic development can can easily understand what is national income why national income is actually important because as far as the national income is concerned national income fundamentally is nothing but which is uh, the technical measurement of the economic growth now based on this particular conceptual uh, orientation or conceptual clarity is concerned if i can give, go through with the the sub classification of this national income chapter the first classification would be concept of national income concept of national income we would study about what is national income why national income is uh, important why national income is calculated then the second sub topics would be the significance of national income significance of uh, national income significance of national income means how national income is most important as far as the international economy is concerned in what way national income is actually used to develop the economy will be studied as part of the significance of the national income is concerned then our third sub topic is the estimation of national income in india estimation of uh, national income in india national income has been estimated even before the independence and even after the independence then would we would go through with the the estimation of the national income before independence before independence what were the happenings okay and who have tried to calculate the national income for india then we would also go through with the the post independent period post independence period the concept of national income and estimation of national income is concerned the central statistical office then uh, national sample survey organization then in 2019 the national sample survey organization and central statistical office have been merged together and could form with the national statistical office till then we would discuss about the estimations of the national income and there was also a committee called the national income estimates committee under mahal nobis which was formed in 1949 we will also discuss about uh, the basic details about this particular committee then the sixth, sixth sub topic would be various concepts of national income most important various concepts of uh, national income because national income is not a alone uh, subject because of this reason why the national income is actually studied as part of various other concepts such as the seventh sub topic is gdp we would study the complete uh, details about the gross domestic product what is gdp why gdp is calculated how gdp is calculated and what are the techniques to calculate the gdp 
then what are the exemptions to calculate the gdp then we will also study about the gnp that is gross national product then we will also study about nnp that is net national product after studying about the gdp gnp nnp then as a 10th sub topic we would study about gdp gnp nnp at factor cost factor cost and also at the market price and also at the market price all the concepts of the national income such as gdp gnp nnp are again calculated at the factor cost and also calculated at the market price then as the 11th sub topic we study about nnp at the market price okay which is also called as the national income we would study about what exactly the definition of the national income by using the nnp at market price because after 2014 15 onwards national income is calculated at the nnp at market price before 2014 15 the national income was calculated at the nnp at the factor cost now we would also study about why the national income calculation had been shifted from factor cost to market price as part of this particular sub topic is concerned then we would study about the what is market price and what is factor cost okay then we would study about the constant price constant price which is also known as the base price which is also known as the base price national income we will also study about the the current price national income current price national income it can also be called as the nominal national income nominal national income this base price national income is called as the real national income we will study about what is real national income which is calculated at the base year prices or constant year prices then what is nominal national income which is calculated at the current price we differentiate the real national income as well as the nominal national income then as part of the 15th sub topic is concern we would study about uh, gdp deflator gdp deflator then uh, once gdp deflator is calculated we would also go through with uh, why gdp deflator is not taken into consideration to measure the inflation of the country the limitations of the measurement of inflation we would also go through then as part of the 16th sub topic is concern we will also go through with the other concepts of national income other concepts of national income other concepts of the national income such as okay we would also go through with the as part of the 17th sub topic is concern the private income is another sub topic then 18th sub topic is personal income personal income which is another most important sub topic then 19th sub topic is personal disposable income personal disposable income then 20th sub topic is per capita income per capita income this is our 20th sub topic we would go through with the, the other uh, concepts of national income such as private income personal income personal disposable income then private income this is our 20th sub topic of the national income then as part of the 21st sub topic of the national income is concern then we will go through with the most important one the 21 sub topic is after uh, per capita income is being calculated then we will go through with the methodology to calculate the national income methodology to calculate the national income such as as a 22nd sub topic is concerned expenditure method expenditure method then 23rd sub topic is income method income method then 24th sub topic is output method 
और प्रोडक्शन मेथड प्रोडक्शन मेथड देन एज पार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सब टॉपिक इज एक्सक्लूड्स एंड इंक्लूड्स ऑफ नेशनल इनकम ओके एज पार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सब टॉपिक इज कंसर्न यू विड स्टडी अबाउट द एक्सक्लूड्स एंड इंक्लूड्स ऑफ द नेशनल इनकम बिकॉज सम आइटम्स शुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द नेशनल इनकम एंड सम आइटम्स must be included as part of the calculation of the national income is concerned and also we would go through with the for which particular chapter we use expenditure method for which particular chapter we use uh, the income method and for which particular uh, sector we use uh, output method or production method how we can actually differentiate the three methods of uh, calculation of the national income now as a new methodology from 2014 15 is concerned now as part of the 26th sub topic is concern we study about the what is gva at basic price now to calculate the gross value added methodology at basic price we would study about what is compensation of employees plus what is mixed income we will also study about what is operational surplus we would go through with the what is compensation of employees what is mixed income and what is operational surplus then we would define about what is gv at basic price and how this gv at basic price is different from the the national income which is calculated at the nnp at the market price we we differentiate this particular concept as well as the this particular concept at 27th sub topic okay 27th sub topics would be the differentiation between gva at basic price as well as the nnp at the market price then as part of the 28th sub topic is concern we would study about the limitations of estimation of national income limitations of estimation of national income because while calculating the national income even after the 75 years of evolution of calculating national income still india faces so many limitations as far as the calculation of the national income is concerned so those kind of the phenomenon will be discussed as part of the limitations of the national income then as part of the 29th sub topic is concern we will go through with the trends and the structure of uh, structure of national income through economic survey 2021-22 as part of the 29th sub topic is concern we would go through with what is the current gdp what is current gnp what is current nnp what is current personal income what is current per capita income what are the growth rates of all these phenomenon we would also study about the patterns of economic growth rates of india for the last 5 uh, to 10 years so that we can analyze how india could get into the v shaped recovery we would also go through with the present trends of economic growth of india along with the growth trends of india we would also study about the the savings rate of india the gross capital formation of india we would also study about the difference between the gross savings rate as well as the gross capital formation after studying about all these things we would also go through with the the 30th sub topic is the miscellaneous items regarding miscellaneous items regarding national income such as whatever is happening as part of the national income is concern in the newspapers and those present trends we all would also be discussed as part of the miscellaneous items of the national income is concern now if you can observe the complete analysis of this particular second topic the official syllabus of the second topic in the the indian economy of chapter 2 is just given as part of uh, four keywords such as measures related to economic growth which is an heading of this particular chapter which means this cannot be considered as the sub topic now as part of the syllabus is concern only three things have been given national income definition which is only a single particular phenomenon in our sub topics that means here we discuss about the basics of national income definition of the national income which is 11th sub topic in our syllabus then concepts and methods of measuring national income concepts and methods of measuring national income means 
concepts of national income then methodology to calculate the national income then various concepts of the national income we would uh, study as part of other subtopics then uh, nominal and real national income here is the constant year uh, national income which is nominal national income then uh, constant year real national income then current year uh, national income which is known as the nominal national income which is also another uh, most important subtopic in our uh, syllabus analysis along with these particular uh, syllabus which has been specifically mentioned we will be studying about uh, 30 subtopics as part of the national income is concerned that is the reason why it would be very important to go through with every subtopic conceptually along with the current trends of the national income then only we will be able to get 10 to 12 marks from the national income okay so this is all about the national income syllabus analysis in the next class we will be discussing about the the poverty and unemployment chapter which is the third most important chapter in your group to indian economy thank you all